Um, good afternoon. It is almost two o'clock. Um, sleep is. But I will. I will put a note on one thing. Yeah, I'm still dealing with my my swoopy head is turned into all multiple types of headache. It's going from hypertension to stress to sinus to migraine to all over um so i thought it well maybe it's i need to put a little sugar in my system because i am um hypoglycemic so i buy always have a jar of little itty bitty i don't know you know little itty bitty half inch by half inches little itty bitty mini snickers or milky ways whatever whatnot so i decided to eat a couple of those i ate two to put some sugar in my system to see if that would help it has eased it the whole but my eyes are still pulled in and somebody trying to pull them out of their eye sockets um so that's what i'm dealing with and then it took me till excuse me 12 o'clock to realize I had felt so horrible with my head that <laughs> that it took me till 12 o'clock to realize hey woman you've not took any of your supplements none of your brain weight none of your oil your oils anything could that be why you're also feeling bad in my eyes I don't know if you guys could tell but they're actually bloodshot they are bloodshot it seems like my left one is droopy but um got storms coming in right now i am fixing to start episode four of the netflix afflicted um i am not by I, right now i'm being very plea the fifth until you know as i go along i i have my views on it um because i have two of them have been my friends on youtube for a long time but um and i didn't realize it until the the tv show this is and i'm just now finished episode three of afflicted and this is my view on it it's not to stop anybody from watching i recommend anybody who has lyme and chronic illnesses to watch it but I will pre-warn you, you will cry and you will be ticked off and angry and frustrated. And I'm not going to deny, I watched, I, fi I, I, wa I finished up episode three this morning, but watched half of it last night and it angered me so much. <laughs> I was sitting there fussing at the infectious disease doctor and that's how i felt it's like yeah exactly we're stupid we're psychotic we're lunatics yeah thank you for putting or we're psychosomatic and it's all in our heads <laughs> thank you for making this tv show so you just help the world make us look like we're psychos and need to go in a loony bin again so i was arguing and angry and just I think a lot of you guys can relate when you reach your limit of hearing so many doctors going, well, you need to go to a therapist. Trust me, I've had to see the therapist because they thought it was all in my head and I'm, you know, multiple dysfunctional personalities and all this crap. And you say things, you do, you slip words out. And I, my my husband had went to, went to the bathroom and took a shower or something and he heard me in there going at a doctor an infectious disease doctor through the TV and as you guys know I've dealt with this over a year ago if you followed my journey I had to deal with an infectious disease doctor like that and I called the mayor the guy got suspended for three or four months so I've been there um, <laughs> I, I don't like infectious disease doctors I prove um, I, I, I don't like how they're only showing so far of what I've watched 
and uh, they have this new thing where, um, as it's going right now, anybody who's chronic illness has Lyme or any co-infections to wherever you're at, take a picture and relate it to what character you you go through. So, I mean, <laughs> so far it would be, okay, well, Jameson, because of the M.E., Jake, or Jeff, yeah, Jake, and then I also got to do Becca, but it's the point, it's not that, it's the point they only show little bits and pieces, and then these little infectious disease doctors, or these doctors that really don't think it's real, keep saying therapy, it's all in our heads, and then you're telling these parents that it's probably all in their head, and they're psychosomatic, and then that's why these parents are going, let's pick our 30-year-old son up and sling him out in an ice-cold pond or a pool. That's how I feel. And I've just finished episode three, and I'm furiated. Especially when I start fuming out at the TV over these idiot doctors. And then so far, Dr. Horowitz, which we all know is an awesome doctor for the treatment of Lyme and co-infections and chronic Lyme. But they're only letting, they're, only, they're editing everything he says so we don't get the full picture. And, or the doctor that's dealing with um, Star, he admittedly, you have Lyme disease and you really can't find it, you know. I, I like his information about it, 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 she looks chronic. I like that whole information. But I want to see the next step of don't edit how what our life is and make it look like let's make the producers rich and we're just going to edit the real story and make us look psychotic and need to go in a loony bin you're not helping us you're not helping us get our story out there if you're editing our life and making the parents and friends now question if it's all in our head because these idiots are telling parents and friends it's really all in their head they're really not that sick they're really not in that much pain please I look fine right now but if you know if you're new to my and I do have a few newcomers new subscribers if you're new to watching my videos you don't know <laughs> you don't know I look fine trust me this is not fine I am pushing through I am getting through with a head, wet nest on a head. I've only washed twice this week. I have had no energy, and I am furiated over the new Afflicted show so far. But I'm going to get on something else. Um, my compression leggings, I will say they are helping. I'm not having to wear them every night. I'm wearing them every other it, it, oh, like I'll wear them all day take them off at night or I'll wear them all night and have them off all, all day it seems to be helping with the leg pain the bone pain I guess where it's I guess it's circulating blood through my legs where I don't know if what's going on but it seems to be helping I'm not warm. I wore them last night and I didn't wear them today, so I'm wearing them tonight. Um, but they seem to be helping. I'm not going to say they're 100% good, but they seem to be working. Woo, that was lightning I just saw. <laughs> Round two of storms. Um, but, like I said, I'm still playing the fifth, but as I go along on the Netflix Afflicted, I am going to give my opinion. And I have done a lot of checking up on all the characters so far in the first three episodes. A lot of people are questioning Carmen, which is the uh, EMF, the electromagnetic sensitivity. So many people are so thinking she's BS. I'm just being honest. Or And a lot of people think um, Jake or Jesse is BS. Because... He can, he can talk to the camera, but he completely 
separates himself from his body. The, se the, the section or whatever, I can't remember the word. And he can't talk to his parents. So people think he's BSing. That it's not real. But they don't get it. it, it don't, it's not always we are, our bodies here and our brains somewhere else. Sometimes we're okay. And then 10 minutes later, I'm here, my brain's gone. 10 minutes from now, my brain's back with my head. It's not because of the cameras. Maybe the cameras edit that. You ever think of that? That the cameras want to make it look like we can talk to the cameras, but we can't talk to the parents. So it makes them call BS on us. You ever think the producers did that? Well, let's just show them talking constantly to the camera, but never to the parents. So they look stupid, psychotic, need the loony bin. And that upsets me. That really upsets me. Really, 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 really upsets me. I'm still ticked off with James, not Jameson's, Jake's daddy from episode three of picking him up and throwing him in an ice cold pool. I, I, I respect his opinion or his thoughts, but it's sad that you have someone that loves you in the home who is not there 150, 110%. You either are in it with me to win it or get somewhere level or you out and we're just living in the same house or I'll have to find somewhere else to go. But that that's upsetting. That is upsetting. And I do know he did get to go to Henna. Thank you, Jen, for telling me that. Um, also, Jen, I hope you're enjoying that day with at the Pickleball Tournament with your husband and your mom. I mean, I know you've not posted in two days. Yeah, two days. So if you don't post, uh, she's okay. She's she's had a rough couple days, but she's, she's trying to push through. So she's good. Um, but... Also, um, Jamie Rogowski, I know you're wanting to, uh, the next step for you is the infectious disease doctor. Many of us will tell you on YouTube or on Facebook, space, whatever. Infection, it is hard to find a legit infectious disease doctor that don't think you're a quack. So, I'd rather go with a holistic or a nature path. <laughs> Than I would an infectious disease doctor. They had they treat infectious disease, but the ones I found, as soon as you hear Lyme and co-infections, you're off the table. It don't exist. And I'm I'm one of those key players. I I, I have Rocky Mountain spotted fever and another form of rickettsia, plus all this other stuff, and I got wiped out the out of the office not once not twice but three times because of Lyme the word Lyme so if it's not a nat if it's not the bird flu <laughs> or something like that it is really hard to find an infectious disease doctor that will take you serious and not go um here's your number to go to a mental health center and talk to somebody because that's what I got but other than that I'm going to make this short. My headache is finally going away since I ate two little itty bitty snicker minis. <laughs> little snicker minis. Um, and I don't want to push it where it flows back in. But um, I've been lazy today. This rain has made my head all forms and types of headaches and migraines. And then the eye pulling out of my socket. <laughs> I can't get that to stop. But I don't know. My head's just not balanced or on straight I guess um <laughs> it's rotating backwards I don't know but hopefully everybody finds a shimmy a shake a sprinkle a sparkle or a silver lining but that's my day it's rainy my eyeballs hurt my head hurts and I'm really lazy today not because I choose to but because I just don't have it in me to go Let's go, 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 go. Tuesday really wiped me out. Tuesday, I think Tuesday. No, Wednesday really wiped me out. And I'm not paying high for it, but it's going to take a couple days. 
So hopefully everybody has a great weekend. I don't know if I'll post this weekend or not. Um, other than that, I love you guys. Saying multiple prayers to everybody. Love you and till the next time, be good.